Maybe, maybe we should start the video with Chief like this. So I am super excited to make a really quick video for you guys showing you the 20 to 35 millimeter lens from Fuji. Um, they were cool enough to send this lens to me for about two weeks just before it's released to you guys, although I've been seeing some people are getting it uh, a bit early. So just wanted to give you my initial reaction on the size and build and all of that type of stuff. Um, I did get to test this lens out super briefly at Fujikina a few weeks ago and it's a solid lens. I showed you guys some pixel peeping and all that in my video on Fujikina so definitely check that out. I'm not going to show any samples here. So yeah this is the 20 to 35 millimeter f4 from Fuji. It is a 16 to 28 millimeter equivalent and it is a very light lens for how big it is. Um, it's not super light uh, but anything on the GFX is usually pretty heavy. So just to give you guys a quick, quick show, try to get this in good lighting here. It's solid lens. Um, it is everything you would normally expect from Fuji. It is a, um, it has an 82 millimeter, uh, filter thread on the front and the one thing that was really surprising about this lens, especially when I grabbed it for the very, very first time, Fujikina, um, it's very light for what it is. So I borrowed the 23 millimeter from Fuji for about three weeks. And um, I mean, it's a heavy lens. It's, it's kind of like a dense lens. It's about the, I'm not sure, I don't have it right now, but um, you know, it's relatively close to this size and um, it is, you know, pretty dense and heavy for what it is, small and compact, but also kind of heavy. Um, this is a really light lens for, for, um, for the size that it is. So this weighs in at about 725 grams or about 1.5 pounds. And um, the 23 millimeter weighs in at about 845 grams or about 1.8 pounds. So a little bit lighter and it's zoom. So it's pretty cool. Um, it is an internally zooming lens, so nothing extrudes, which makes it really great for doing overhead or anything, you know, where with a lens on an incline or a decline, um, you're not going to get any sort of movement, which is really cool. I'll show you this in a second, but the new zoom is pretty similar in size to the 110 and they weigh drastically different. Uh, the 110 weighs about over a thousand grams and it's about 2.2 pounds. So it's a really light lens. It's impressive what Fuji did to make such a light lens, but a pretty wide zoom. So I just weighed those lenses, the, the new zoom and the 110 on my food scale and the weights are accurate to Fuji's website and all of that. But um, fun fact, the caps are included in the weight. So just don't carry with the caps. You'll save yourself a little bit of uh, weight on your back. Okay, so as you see here, I have the 110 next to the 20 to 35, and um, not a drastic difference. The 110 also has a filter on it, lens filter, so you have a little bit of height difference, but pretty similar in size. Here it is next to Fujifilm's quote unquote pancake 50 millimeter. As you can see, it's obviously more than double the size, but uh, just figured I would show this for reference. And for all of you X series people, here is Fuji's GFX wide with the X series ultra wide, the 8 to 16. Um, 8 to 16 looks to be a little bit larger, but the cap I think pushes it a little bit and there's built in um, lens hood on it. But nevertheless, I thought this would be interesting to compare. They're also uh, the same weight pretty much. Um, the 8 to 16 weighs about 1.77 pounds and the new wide like I mentioned before, is about 1.5. So a little bit heavier, but they're pretty close. Just to add in the 110. So I actually just switched cameras. Um, I was recording on the GFX with the 45 millimeter 2.8, but um, I swapped to show you uh, what this lens looks like on the GFX 100S. It's a big lens. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not, over the top big, but you know, it's not small, um, but it's very light. It's definitely 
very nice to handhold. Um, doesn't really crank on my wrist too bad, although everything after a while with the GFX does wear you down. But um, yeah, like the 110 on the GFX is definitely like a wrist cranker. Um, worth it, worth the pain. But uh, this lens is definitely a lot smaller, as you can see. So, so yeah, so um, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna be sending this lens back in two weeks and I'm gonna be rigorously testing it. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I'll do my best to test anything out you guys want me to look into. A company called Kalari, they do lens filters and IR conversion and all of that and cameras. Um, they sent me a few ND filters, UV filters, and a CPL to test out. So stay tuned, I'm gonna have a video on that. Um, if you're in the market for filters, you definitely will wanna check it out because these filters are top notch and hyper um, competitive in pricing, especially compared to like B&W and all that. And the optics are pretty much, you know, on point. I've seen no difference in quality, but the uh, build is just so much nicer on these. Um, I'll try to show you, I don't know if you can see, but they have this, um, this really, really grippy uh, edge on the, um, the filter. I really can't tell what you can see in this, so I hope it's working. I'm trusting my X-H1. Um, but yeah, they have a super grippy and the build quality is just unreal. Um, way nicer than BMW. Actually, a BMW filter I had for a couple years, but lightly used, um, like the, the glass got loose. So I hope they're, they have some sort of warranty because it wasn't even heavily used. But anyway, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to have a, a full video on Kalari filters and all that. Um, really cool company. Definitely check them out. But more on that soon. Uh, stay tuned. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I make tons of GFX content and I'm going to start making some X series content soon. I want to get my hands on a uh, XH2S and XH2 to try out. Um, also, probably want to switch my video recording camera from my primarily my XH1 to the XH2S. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I'm going to get out and start shooting with this lens so I have some content for you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video.